Eating better is easier with cool produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Just color your plate with two fruits and three veggies every day. Cool Uzotwala. These five South Africans are ready to show off their cooking skills to impress the judges and win big to become Zansi's next cooking star. Fresh produce grown right here in Zansi. Hi, we've got you. Eating better starts with cool five a day. Just add two fruits and three veggies to your daily meals. As we said to make eating better easier, color your plate with cool. Congratulations to all of you for making it here. Give yourselves a round of applause. My name is Shililo Sadiki and I'm coming from Pretoria Central. My name is Gresham Madden. I am from Durban and I work in retail. My name is Sibongi Lemufukeng. I have a passion for food. I love cooking for my family and friends. My name is Matlati Khatle. I am 29 years of age. I am a mother of one. My name is Paula. I'm 53 years old. I work in an architect's firm. Today is going to be a very special challenge because you're going to cook for a loved one. Whether it's your partner, a child, your parents, or even your gogo. -go. But we want you to also include today's hero ingredient, which is peas. And then at the end of it all, only one of you is going to progress to the grand finale. To help us decide, let's meet this week's five a day superstar. My name is Nobuse Mimi Masasela and I'm an actress. Popularly known as Aggie from Seven Delan, I'm a plus size model as well and a body positivity activist and a motivational speaker. Whenever I do cook, I do enjoy it. I just don't want to do it every day. <laughs> I'm looking forward um, to meeting the contestants and also finding out uh, what was the inspiration in them making those dishes. Let's welcome Mimi Matasela. Hello judges. Hello gorgeous. <laughs> I am so excited to be here. I obviously cannot wait to see what you guys are going to make and I can't wait to taste the food. <laughs> Mimi, it's great to have you on the judging panel today. Thank you so much. So today's hero ingredient, peas, are one of our most iconic vegetables. They're filled with colour and vibrancy. And to find out more about cool peas, Arthur and I went up to Lompopo to see how they farmed. Arthur, I just love peas. As a kid, for me, they were like nature's own little sweets. But I didn't know they were grown at this scale up here in Limpopo. Yes, Ruben, you know farming is a big part of Mozanzi. It really plays an important role in making sure that people have jobs and, you know, support many communities. And Ku being, you know, a proudly South African brand supports local farmers. But the, these little plants, they still look small and young. Yes, Ruben, because they have just been recently planted. It takes around 110 days before they are harvested. And here's the exciting thing. From harvest to canning, it takes only 24 hours. What? Only one day? That's incredible. You wanna try one of these? And if they taste this good now, I can only imagine how great the peas are gonna taste once they harvest it. Ah, Marapella, guys. How? Oh, next time, invite me along when you go jet setting around the country. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, to get the creative juices flowing, we've prepared a dish with peas as the hero. Wow. Oh, that's my kind of dish over there. Veggies, I mean, there's just such a spread. Great spoil. Mm. Right, so pea dalkis. At the bottom, we have hummus with tomato, mm. some herb emulsion, butternut, nicely roasted, you know, summer is upon us, so what we want to see is something light and vibrant. Uh, the combination of peas with the addition of some freshness to it as well. <laughs> and of course, it needs to be balanced. You'll each have one hour to colour your plate. You'll really need to have a clear picture of the dish in your minds because you'll only have one and a half minutes in the pantry behind me. You'll go in one at a time to adhere to social distancing. And once your time is up, the pantry will be off limits. Are you guys ready? Yeah. 
Okay, oh, smart lads, you ready, Mugel? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I think so. All right, your time starts in three, two, one, and you may go. So my love and passion for food grew in 2011 when I enrolled at Tiki's. I realized that I don't have to eat the puff and the chicken anymore. Like, I can explore a whole new world. Make sure you get all the stuff that you need for your dish. I started cooking from a very young age. So I watched my mother cooking. I just felt I should be doing that as well. And then as I grew older, the passion grew as well. 30 seconds, you've still got time. Make this last second count. <laughs> Are you sure you've got everything? You've still got 20 seconds, Chili, look, come on. Three, two, one, and your time is up. Have you got everything? I forgot the parmesan. Oh, no. Contestants, you've gathered your ingredients. Now the pantry is off limits. You'll have one hour to create your winning dish. And for your convenience, the cool will be available all throughout the challenge. Are you all ready? Bring your A game. Yes. yes. Ready, steady, Color your plate. More color on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products. Dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day to 072-741-5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Cool. The best way to color your plate is to join three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Cool. Ready, steady, color your plate. Wow, I made the biggest mistake instead of taking risotto rice to make my pea risotto, I've taken basmati rice. Are you clear now on what to do? No, I think I know how I'm gonna adjust it. Yeah. It's just I haven't um, done this before, so mm. I'm just gonna wing it a bit. I'm just going to fry off some onions, put the basmati rice in that, and then throw in the peas with some, some stock, and then hopefully it will all work out together. I don't feel like I have enough time right now because I'm trying to do the chicken, I'm trying to do the potato thingy and everything is just crashing on my mind. I'm so panicking right now. I see you are prepping your potatoes. I'm gonna combine the peas here. I'm gonna make potato cheesy balls. I'm gonna also be making chicken breasts. They're in oven right now as we speak. They have a nice color there. Thank you. And you can do it, okay? Thank you. Keep it up. 45 minutes to go, guys. It might seem like a lot, but it goes by so quickly. Get a move on it. <laughs> ah, no, the flower. <laughs> so I'm running my ass through Chilelo, and I see that she's running away with my flower. Hey, go for later. Yes, I take a mushroom and a flower because she was having two flowers. You did the thing. Fine. Chilelo, with your gegana, Sibongile, you said you asked for some pioneer, huh? To gaan say, but to fast the meal work. But anything to win, hey? Well, it's a competition after all. <laughs> I love experimenting in the kitchen, especially when I'm on my own and I'm feeding myself. I love food, so I love to um, experiment with different combinations, different ingredients, different sauces, etc. Hola, how's it going? Um, it's going good. Okay, um, what's in there? The rice and the peas, so I see there. Rice, peas, mint. Mint? Yes. Fresh uh, Mimi, didn't you say you don't eat mint? Yeah! <laughs> so that's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> it's just a hint of mint. Had I known that Mimi doesn't like mint, I would have never have put mint in it, but it is what it is, and she's just got to taste around the mint. OK, guys, you have less than half an hour left. Go, go, go. Time is not on your side. I'm honouring my grandmother because she loved working with fish. Because fish is so versatile, and there's so much that you, can, that you can do with it. So my grandmother always pulled something out of the works all the time. Gershon, I see there's 25 minutes left and you're already cooking your fish. Don't you think it's a bit too early, maybe? I put it on the lowest uh, setting. Remember, Heiko, hey, when it gets too warm, it's going to start to get either mushy or it's just going to sort of disintegrate. So be, you must be careful with that, eh? Sure, I will. I did worry, 
Because when I had a look at the fish, it started to fall apart. I think I'm in trouble. I saw Gershon cooking his fish way too early. Mm -hmm. And now, if you look at it, it's basically breaking apart, falling apart in the pan. Shame, man. And you know how sort of delicate fish is, Ruben? And you want to keep it nice and fresh when yeah. it hits the plate. But at least there's one more piece that still looks OK. If he pulls this back, I'll be very impressed. At least he has confidence. Yeah. That counts for something. <laughs> it does. I like to cook for my family. I like to cook for them different things and the new things. OK, Chililo? Yes. Come back, Anjan. Hi. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. i I'm looking forward to tasting it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. While I am preparing my dish, I am thinking of my lovely and gorgeous mother. This is her, you know, signified in a dish. So that's always us thinking in my head, my lovely mama. The chicken, when is that gonna go in? Can you see there's like 23 minutes left, eh? Definitely it's going in now. And what are you still doing? You wanna do a stuffing or something with it? Yes, yeah, so basically the whole idea is to stuff the chicken with some um, cheese okay. and some mushroom. So you're cutting it a little bit fine, make sure that, that your oven is hot enough. Yes. And it needs to stay in there till the last minute, okay? That is the plan, so let's yeah. hope that... I'm a little worried, I'm a little worried. I'm also worried, so... <laughs> Only 20 minutes left, guys. I am seeing some faces that are a bit panicky. Right now, my heart can just come out of its place because I'm so nervous. One hour literally turned into 10 minutes. One minute I'm chopping, one minute I am in trying to fix my chicken, one minute it's time over. Where's the one hour? Five minutes left, guys. I'm not seeing those plates. Please start plating. I feel a little bit nervous because I never do such things. Five, Five four, four, three, two, two. One, step away from your place. Step away, guys, step away. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> the best way to color your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Ku Uzo Guys, what an hour. I mean, everybody looked very nervous. It was indeed nerve-wracking, I have to say. Oh, and the plates look so colorful. Well, I hope they taste as good as they look. Summer's on the way. Um, you know, peas just give so much color and brings vibrancy to a plate. Well, enough talking, guys. Let's taste the first plate. Yep. <laughs> Bring it on. I'm happy with my plate. I've done enough to impress the judges. Hi, judges. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. Lovely, lovely presentation. Mm -hmm. So who would you dedicate this dish to? This dish I dedicated to my sister's daughter called Ropiwa, and always she liked my food. We're also happy you did it. Thank you. Thank you. I feel confident. My food is all well balanced, and all nutrients is there. The chicken is well cooked. One, I like that. I also just like the beet with the, the peaches. It, mm. It's just such a, I think, a, a clever idea. Mm -hmm. The chicken is beautifully cooked, but it's saying to me, peas, please, I'm missing the hair ingredient. But I could see, you know, she was giving that, those peas, the, the stuffing, she gave it lots of love. Um, I'll agree with Arthur, maybe the peas could have been a bit more pronounced, so more, yeah. but um, I, I actually quite enjoyed this. You try the next dish. Yeah, yep. let's do that. I don't think I did my very best, but I worked with what I had. And now it's just up to them. Thank you so much. So, what have you made for us today and who are you dedicating your plate to? Okay, I've prepared a pea pesto with some grilled egg and couscous on the side. And it's dedicated to my grandmother because she loved working with the fish. So, hopefully I did her justice. I'm sure she would be proud of you. Thank you very much. I'm feeling nervous, but at the same time, I'm excited. I hope they're saying something good because I tried my best. You know, he started the hike quite early. Mm. Um, he had two nice pieces of hike, and then the one just completely disintegrated. And he had to basically serve what was left uh, to us. So I think in terms of balance, we had that 
quite a hump of the couscous and then a small little bit of fish. You should have done the, the fish last. Yeah. But the one thing I've just realized now is pea pesto and peach just doesn't go together. I beg to differ, Ruben. He nailed it. And uh, the combo with the peaches, I think it just works. Maybe I like peaches, I don't know. <laughs> I was just missing that harmony in this plate. The pea pesto as well, I agree. I liked it, uh, but I was just missing something. I agree. Let's try in the next one. Shoo, I'm feeling so nervous right now. I don't know what to expect from the judges. Okay, so what did you make? I made cheesy potato balls with peas, then I made side salad, yama beans, and roasted chicken. Ah, and who's it dedicated to, Mdana? I'm dedicating this dish for my little sister, Umbali, because we normally cook together a kai. How old is Umbali? She's eight. And when? Let's see. I mean, I'm 22. Oh, but great. Oh, but great. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope the judges will say something nice, but at the same time be truthful, because I am open to criticism. Guys, baby girl did the things. The pea ball with the cheese and the potato and the peas. Listen, it's working and it's in the crunch for me. It was perfectly cooked. It was my favorite. Everything is cooked perfectly, but I was just missing some fresh element to just bring roundness to this dish. Maybe we wanted to see where the chicken is, maybe just cut it off the bone and give, uh -huh. give it a different treatment a little bit. But she focused on, on, on the potato and the pea, so the textures are great, but just not enough peas. I think yeah. we can agree on that. I'm quite anxious, like, oof, yeah. Oh, guy, my name is. Hello, guy. Kerata happy to la la. Yes. Tonight's menu is chicken breast served with mushroom and cheese and pea puree. I dedicate this meal to my loving mother Elizabeth for always inspiring me to be a hard worker, dedicated and passionate at what I do. Wow, that's we lovely. love your mother already. Yes. <laughs> I am very nervous. Will it impress the judge? Have I done enough? So a lot of questions are running down my, at the back of my mind, like, will I deliver what I promised? Guys, unfortunately, we can't eat raw chicken. We have to just taste the vegetables instead. I'm not impressed with this dish. The chakalaka on its own, I can have any day. It's great, but yeah. It's a big disappointment. I mean, that you can't really even... I mean, we're commenting now on the veggies, but it's supposed to sort of like a be whole a, a whole yes. dish. Yeah. For me, the fact that she's here and giving it a go, I think, you know, you have to give her kudos for that. Yeah. It's not always going to work out, though. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm feeling quite confident with my dish. It smells good, it looks good, so... We'll see. So, what have you made for us today? And who is your dish dedicated to? I've made an Italian herb um, hake served with pea basmati and a pea corn colorful salsa. And I've dedicated this dish to my husband because this is his favorite way of the way I make fish for him. And he hates peas. <laughs> so hopefully I can convert him to a pea lover. Yes. There we exactly. go. Thank you. Hope well you done. enjoy it. Sure. Thank you. I hope the judges enjoy my fish because it is quite an unusual topping and it's very flavoursome. And also that the other components work well with the dish. So hopefully everything will work together and make for a tasty dish. Guys, I love this dish. You know, the flavors bouncing between slight saltiness from the capers and also just the minty flavor, the peas as well, they're providing that sweetness. The rice, you know, with the peas in there, the flavors, I really enjoy it. But for me, the stars is still the fish. You know, and the fact that she used uh, she used some pulchard in there as well on the crust together with the breadcrumbs and the herbs, and it's cooked to perfection. I can see where your happiness lies. Clearly the fish is the star of the dish. Uh, because I don't eat fish, um, I think she could have elevated the salsa a tad more. We had a lot of ups and downs today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I think the clock got the better of yeah. most of the contestants. That's a bit rough. So clearly we have a tough uh, decision to make, eh? Mm -hmm. I've never been this nervous in my life. It's definitely intimidating to have people with such 
high standard. It would be amazing to win a competition like this. Winning this competition will open a whole lot of opportunities. Winning this competition will mean a lot to me. It will mean I have the potential I think I have. My sister will also be so proud of me. This is a very big competition. The prize is massive, so it would be one of my greatest accomplishments. We'll hear the results. Who's who? Okay guys, so we've tasted all your dishes. Firstly, I'd like to congratulate all of you. Well done on all the amazing dishes. We all know nothing beats love, so I hope all your loved ones are proud of you. We all know this is a competition, so there has to be a winner. Womakazi, what you little? Boshuma, your dish was just beautiful. Your takadza, the way you presented it, the flavors, the taste, the freshness. But as we know, the peas really didn't star on the dish as I would have hoped and liked them to have. Christian, I mean, you started off really confident, but I think, uh, you know, you got a bit nervous along the way. It just, unfortunately, you overcooked the fish and maybe you could have spiced that couscous a little bit more. Thank you. Sibongile, our sweet pea. I mean, the technique you brought in that preparation of the potato balls, it was nothing short of divine. But was the use of the fresh garden peas enough? Matladzi, the pea puree was fantastic. You really allowed the natural flavor of the fresh garden peas to shine through. But unfortunately, we couldn't taste the chicken because it was still raw. Paula, I have to say, I was very skeptical about your dish simply because I'm not a fan of mint. So I was a bit worried, but it seemed to come together all in the end. Thank you. Contestants, once again, congratulations. Under the cloche is the winning dish. And the winning plate is... Well done, Paula. As a winner of this week's challenge, you walk away with a hamper worth more than 4,000 Rand, including Le Creuset kitchenware, a Nutribullet, and cool products. And you've colored your plate to the finale. Thank you. Fantastic, I wanted to win, so here we are. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna to bring to the finale yet, but definitely the experience that I've had in the kitchen um, and cooking with Koo products, and hopefully this will give me a good head start. Next time on Colour Your Plates with Koo, five brand new and excited contestants battle it out to earn a spot in the grand finale. And joining the judging panel is South African singing, hosting and comedic star, Emo Adams. The best way to colour your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Ku Uzo Dwala. <laughs>